Okay, thank you very much indeed for uh, waiting. Sorry about the delay. Uh, the president was in the, uh, in the session up to this moment. Um, so I'm here to introduce uh, the president of the United Nations General Assembly, uh, His Excellency Mons Lukatov, who's also just been elected as the president of the UN General Assembly Special Session on the World Drug Problem. Sir. I only have a few remarks for you. Uh, sorry that the uh, ceremonial beginning of the Junkers took some much longer time than many expected. Uh, as you know, we have approved the outcome document uh, with consensus outlining uh, that this is a part of a process. We have not got a new mandate. The mandate of working with the drug problems uh, is stipulated in way back resolutions and will f be followed up by a work uh, that may change the mandate, but only at the next meeting in 2019. And of course, you also saw it reflected in the statements of explanation of both, that of course, on a number of issues, there are a wide range of differences in opinion uh, inside the membership of the United Nations. What, what was the agreement about is uh, the validity and necessity of discussing the issues, discussing the uh, new developments and new uh, scientific approaches and uh, evidence-based experiments uh, in this very, very difficult field and very complex uh, field of uh, social problems, health problems, uh, uh, criminal uh, networks, working, and so on. But, but, but I appreciate very much that it has been possible in the process leading up to this meeting, taking place through negotiations in Vienna, uh, so at least agree on a number of uh, issues and a platform for the further discussion of these important problems. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Mauricio Guerrero from the Mexican News Agency, Notimex. Sir, when, in your opinion, what are the main shortcomings of the outcome document, and what are the main points, points of progress? I think the main points of progress is that it, it uh, underlines the first the uh, international character of the fighting against uh, uh, drug, uh, drug crime, but also underlines that we have a common and shared responsibility to keep attention on the individual and the human rights problem, on the social problem, and the health problems, and, and uh, dealing uh, with uh, the users or misuses of, 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 of drugs uh, as a, the human problem it is. Uh, and further on also address the problem that we have uh, not sufficiently covered the global population uh, with, with drugs against pain as is a very, very big problem. Diego Senior from W Radio in Colombia. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about the participation of Colombia in this process. Uh, what ca can you say about it? Because it's uh, together with Mexico and Guatemala, the three countries that uh, pressure the, the entire system in order to take this um, the situation and, and this uh, summit here. Uh, that's one question, and the other one is on the other one is on harm reduction. Uh, these are two words that were not quite included in the final document, and as you know, it's an important uh, concept. What what is your idea on it? But as president of, of the General Assembly and of this special session, I cannot allow myself to have any personal opinions on what was not agreed upon. But but I can point out to you, but I think you have observed it already, that there is this wide range of, of, of different opinions of how to deal with the problems. Personally, I think it's, it's good that we have underlined the necessity of looking at new evidence and new methods of treatment for the drug users. And of course, also uh, the problem of, of covering uh, pain treatment uh, around the world. 
Colombia? Um, Colombia, Mexico, and Guatemala, yeah, they, they are member countries that have worked very, very energetic with the discussion here. Of course, for, for obvious reasons, countries that are affected by the, the criminal networks of, 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 of uh, drug trafficking, but also have uh, new and innovative ideas of how to deal with the problems. And we have heard that from the representatives of the countries already in the, in, in the, in the general session, and I, I appreciate very much their contribution to this process. Okay, one last question there. Thank you. Oh, well, um, if you can talk about the, the death penalty issue that was mentioned, that, that many delegates, um, that they were surprised that, that it was not banned when treating um, um, uh, crimes um, related to, to drug possession. Yeah, but, but, but you, you, you observed yourself this very, very strong division on the question of death penalty. I mean, that's, a new, that's not a new observation in the United Nations. There are a large number of countries that long time ago banned uh, uh, death penalty in any, under any circumstances. And I, be, I belong, so I come from a country uh, that, that has that, that position, that's no secret. Uh, but, but, but there's certainly not an agreement at this moment in this hall about that issue. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you, sir.